This is an overview of the Mediana Automated External Defibrillator A16 and how to use the A16 in an emergency situation. Why AD matters? Emergency heart disease such as sudden cardiac arrest can occur anytime, anywhere and to anyone. Sudden cardiac arrest causes around 20% of all deaths in Europe. It is deadly within minutes if left untreated, and survival rates are just 5 to 20%. The WHO reported that heart disease remains the number one killer. The number of deaths from heart disease increased by more than 2 million since 2000 to nearly 9 million in 2019. Without a bystander using AED shock therapy, 70% of cardiac arrest patients either died or survived with impaired brain function. So why AED matters? If we can use an AED for cardiac arrest patients within a short time period, we can save precious lives. Due to cardiac arrest, 20,000 lives are lost annually and the resuscitation rate is only 3%. Cardiac arrest victims who received a shock from a publicly available AED that was administered by a bystander had 2.62 times higher odds of survival to hospital discharge, a 2.73 times higher chance for a full body functions compared to victims who first received an AED shock after emergency responders arrived. Mediana ADs are medical devices designed to restore the function of the heart by analysing the patient's heart condition when the heart stops beating and the supply of oxygen is stopped. They deliver electric shocks as needed. Quick response. The A16 Mediana's new AD is an optimised device that can respond quickly and easily to these emergencies. User friendly. Various functions are designed to be convenient for the user. Reliable. Our current AD is configured to be compliant with the 2015 version of the AHA EIC guidelines on cardiopulmonary resuscitation and emergency cardiovascular care. Fast shock delivery. A16 has patented technology that can reduce defibrillation time. The technology that simultaneously performs ECG analysis and high voltage charging can minimise the time when CPR is interrupted. Before the technology was applied, it took 10 seconds for analysis and 10 seconds for charging. But with our new model A16, it took 10 seconds for analysis and charging. Therefore, the time taken from power on to electric shock instructions was reduced to less than 21 seconds. Operation mode. Fully automatic or semi-automatic operation is possible. When A16 is with fully automatic function, users don't need to press the shock button. The shock will be delivered automatically. When the device is semi-automatic, a flashing button indicates ready for shock delivery. Users can push the button to deliver the shock. Pace pulse detection and rejection. This function can filter external pulse like pacemaker, so only normal ECG can be filtered out without pacemaker signal, improving the accuracy of ECG. Three language selection. The user can select the desired language among three different languages, just simply by pressing the language select button. It will be essential to foreigners, especially from public places. Also, it will be an optimised device for such countries like Belgium, where official languages are three. Dutch, German, French. Voice recording. Voice recording function enables to check what kind of on-site actions were done. So when the device turns on, A16 records automatically in regard to environmental sounds. Pads quality check. Pad conditions such as pad connection abnormality, expiration date, pad that has already been used and damaged, when the gel is dried and replacement is recommended, etc. These status of pads can be checked from outside through the LCD window. 
how to use the Heart on AD A16. Step 1. Turn on the A16 by pressing the on and off button. Remove clothes to expose the patient's chest. If the patient has an excessively hairy chest, shave the area where the pads are about to be applied. Ensure that the patient's chest is dry. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to make sure it's immovable. Step 2. When pads are attached correctly to the patient, you will hear the voice prompts. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing and charging. Shock advised. Step 3. For semi-automatic mode. Press the flashing button now. Shock delivered. If the shock button is not pressed for 10 seconds after the voice prompt, press the flashing button now. The same instruction will be emitted one more time. If the shock button is not pressed for more than 20 seconds after the initial instruction, the AED moves on to the CPR process after the voice prompt, shock cancelled, is emitted. Fully automatic mode, the shock will be delivered without needing to press the flashing button. Step 4. When the electric shock is delivered, you will hear the voice prompts. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR. Step 5. After you hear the following voice prompt, the AD will then return to your ECG analyzing procedure. Continue to follow this instruction until emergency physician arrives, and then hand over patient to emergency physician. Stop CPR. The heart on AD A16. Quick response. User friendly. Reliable.